I'd like to introduce our associate professor of guitar, Berta Rojas, who has put this together uh, with her colleague, Bobby Stanton, and has brought so much life and uh, just inspiration and beautiful work to our classical guitar program here in the guitar department. Thank you, Berta, and uh, thanks for having me here. Thank you so much, Kim, and thank you for your leadership and for your vision for this guitar department. Uh, my name is Berta Rojas. I'm very happy to welcome you to this first ever classical and fingerstyle guitar night showcase. This evening, we are going to be featuring 15 Berkeley guitarists playing a variety of fingerstyle and classical compositions. And I want to leave you with your host, my co-host tonight, my dear friend Bobby Stanton, associate professor at Berkeley, who's going to be the MC tonight. Enjoy the show. Thank you very much for those kind words, Berta. And hello, everybody. It's so nice to see you. I know so many of you. Uh, it's wonderful to see you. Um, we don't, uh, we're going to dive right in here because we have so many people. Uh, so our first performer is Cameron Alver, who plays contemporary fingerstyle guitar. And Cameron, would you like to say something about the song that you've chosen to perform this evening? Absolutely. Um, the song is. Uh, John Bellion's Stupid Deep, uh, which I arranged for um, solo guitar. Um, and I, I chose to arrange this one just because there's a, a drone, like a quarter note drone that I thought sounded like a harmonic. And so I thought it would be fun to try an arrangement. So enjoy. Brilliant. Uh, then without further ado, here is Cameron Alper performing John Bellion's Stupid Deep.
Just beautiful. Amazing. Great sound and more importantly, great socks. Uh, <laughs> just beautiful. Oh, they're not um, my only pair of guitar socks. Trust me on that one. I have a pair too. Um, brilliant. Um, so Thank our you. next performer uh, is uh, Antonio Cucuzzo. And uh, Antonio is a guitarist, composer, and arranger with a background in jazz, rock, and contemporary music. Uh, he developed an interest in Brazilian music after studying with uh, professors Freddie Bryant and Ben Sher. Yay! Um, uh, Antonio, would you like to say something about the song you chose sure. to hear this evening? Yeah, yeah. The, thank you, um, Bobby. Um, yeah, the, the piece is uh, Aquarela do Brasil, which is a very famous samba song uh, written by Ari Barroso. And um, so I've arranged it for solo guitar. I mean, really, I got into Brazilian music because it's such a rich tradition for especially guitar styles. Uh, it, it's, it's like super fun uh, because it's so fruitful to generate great ideas and it's so great to play. So I put this together and uh, do my best to be faithful to uh, the awesome samba style. So I hope you enjoy. Awesome. So here uh, is Antonio uh, performing Aquarela do Brasil by Ari Barroso. That's beautiful. Um, uh, our next performer is Andres Guerra. He's a Venezuelan, uh, Venezuelan uh, composer and arranger and a guitarist who blends classical guitar repertoire and technique with improvisation and contemporary styles. Uh, Andres, would you like to say something about the song? 
Yes, for sure. Um, you have so a I'm very, <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to be playing uh, a traditional piece from my country. Um, I decided to play this piece, this piece because I, I believe it's something that really represents um, my, my background, both musical and cultural. And, uh, and uh, it's great. I mean, I, I, I hope you enjoy it. I did a little uh, introduction of my own composition to this. So the arrangement is by Olivia Diaz, but the introduction is, is, is by me. Uh, I, I hope you like it. It's brilliant. So here uh, is Andres playing uh, Alirio Diaz's arrangement of Alma Yanira. Yeah, that was pretty good. Thank you. 
Just brilliant. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Um, Thank you brilliant. so much. Beautiful. Um, okay, so our next performer is Pablo Lier Filguera, uh, and he is a brilliant, uh, I don't mind saying it, a brilliant seventh semester student from Spain, and he plays a wide variety of styles. I've had him in several classes, and he does amazing in all these different styles. So, so Pablo, uh, do you have something to say about your song? No Pablo in the house tonight, unfortunately. No Pablo in the house. That's hilarious. So typical. Okay, brilliant. Um, okay, so he's going to play a song by Jerry Reed called Blues Land, which is a difficult song to play, and it's a brilliant song. So without further ado, here's Pablo playing Blues Land by Jerry Reed. Brilliant job, Pablo. If you see this in retrospect, my favorite part is when you look into the camera, knowing your sense of humor, it's hilarious. Um, brilliant. So um, our next performer is not here either. It's probably like another day or another time zone, wherever he is. Um, but his name is Nadol Juta Sampakorn. Uh, Nadal is an amazing uh, classically trained guitarist who's won several guitar con competitions in several different countries. He's amazing. Uh, so the song that he's going to play is called Takarap di Paschini, the third movement of Sonata One by Leo Brower.
Hope you're muted, Bobby. Hello, everybody. Come back. Um, unbelievable uh, job, Nadal. I mean, uh, the, just the chops alone, let alone remembering all that stuff. Oh, my gosh, that was amazing. OK, so unfortunately, our next uh, person, uh, performer, uh, Matthew Rio, is not going to be here either. It's 6 o'clock where he lives. Uh, so Matthew is a six semester jazz composition major uh, who started out playing fingerstyle guitar. And he's going to play a song from a movie called Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, uh, Audrey Hepburn originally sang this Academy Award winning best song, uh, and it's Henry Mancini's famous Moon River. Oh my gosh, that song always transports me someplace. Um, so our next performer is Gio Kim. Um, I'm not sure if Gio is here. Uh, if you are, 
say something. Um, Gio Kim is uh, practically a, a social media star, uh, and he's covered uh, a wide variety of popular genres like K-pop, New Age, and jazz. Um, uh, and Gio, are you here? I did. Uh, I didn't see you. Okay. So here's Gio performing an original composition called Wild Card. Beautiful job, Ju. Amazing. Uh, I'm thinking that some of our Korean friends are like literally 12 hours difference from us. Um, I have a student and I'm, I always say good morning to him and he's just about to go to bed. So there might be a few people missing. Um, but our next performer I know is here and that's Emma Mosley. Emma is an incredibly talented fifth semester guitarist uh, uh, from Austin, Texas. And she's a recipient of the Lee Rittenauer uh, scholarship. Uh, Emma, could you tell us something about the song you've chosen to perform this evening? Hey, Bobby. Um, so I chose one of my favorite songs by Brooks Robertson. It's called Into the Trees. Um, and I first heard Brooks play this song at a Tommy Manuel camp in, uh, in New Orleans a couple of years ago, but I finally got around to learning it. Um, and I had my best friend, Kimberly Zelnicki, play fiddle over it. Um, so, yeah. Brilliant. So here's Emma and Kimberly performing their duet Into the Trees by Berkeley alum Brooks Robertson.
Amazing as always. Uh, and without a thumb pick, I noticed too. Brilliant. Um, okay, so our next student performer is Drew Sinha. And uh, Drew's a six semester guitar performance major. He's interested in classical music and he began serious study of classical music, uh, classical guitar only one year ago. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, Drew, can you tell us something about your song? Yeah, so it's the um, Allegro from Box Prelude Feud and Allegro. And um, it's a piece that I've had my eye on for a while. I started listening to it during last fall semester. And I was finally, finally able to um, get around to actually learning it this time. And it, um, I was able to learn with a lot of help from Berta and from Professor Abigail Aronson too. She was a lot of help, so. Brilliant. So here's Drew, Drew performing the Allegro from Prelude, Fugue, and Allegro, BWV 998 by Johann Sebastian Bach. Wow, and that's only after one year. Good grief. Think of what you'll be like in two years, you know? That's amazing. Uh, brilliant. Um, 
So our next performer is Francis O'Brien. And Francis uh, is a third semester pro music uh, major with a wide variety of styles. Uh, he was in my Jerry Reed ensemble last semester, and I think he's studying with uh, Joe Stump metal this semester. So talk about wide ranging uh, styles. Um, Francis, can you tell us something about the song you're gonna perform this evening? Yeah, thanks for the uh, kind words, Bobby. Um, so I chose uh, this Jerry Reed tune. He just has such an original approach to uh, playing guitar and writing just killer tunes for guitar. They're pretty difficult to learn, but once you get like the hang of it, they're just so fun to play. And uh, so I just hope everyone has as much fun listening as I did playing the tune. <laughs> Brilliant, Francis. So here's Francis playing Swingin' 69 by Jerry Reed. So brilliant. That is so brilliant. Jerry Reed is so illogically brilliant. And you played that, you could see how happy you were playing it. That was the brilliant, man. Great job. Um, okay, so our next performer is Praz Madonna. And uh, he's been playing for about five and a half years. And Praz, can you tell us about the song you're going to perform this evening? Yeah, this is a tune called Indivisible by Callum Graham, who's um, one of the guitar players that first inspired me to play guitar when I was starting out. So this piece, this is a song that's near and dear to my heart. Awesome. So here's Pras to play Indivisible by Callum Graham.
Brilliant press. And and no, that wasn't a green screen. That's that's Naponset Beach. I used to go there all the time. It's on the south shore of Boston. Brilliant, brilliant performance. Um, okay, so our next guest is uh, Eric Wessling. And Eric's a jazz guitarist from San Diego, California. And he began studying classical guitar in beginning in 2020, although from this performance, you'd, you'd think he'd been playing it all his life. Uh, Eric, can you tell us something about this song? Yeah, so this is um, Sakura Variations by Yukijiro Yoko. Um, it's a traditional Japanese folk song um, played on the koto, but arranged for the classical guitar. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to learn. Taught me a lot about solo playing and using space and all that good stuff. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. Brilliant. Uh, so I'll try to pronounce this right. Here's Eric performing Juko, Juko Hiro Yoko. Sukura variations.
Oh my gosh, Eric, that was amazing. What a performance. I mean, the dynamics, everything. Jeez, execution, that was ridiculous. That was really good, man. Thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. Um, our next performer is Alexander Wach, and he's from Queens, New York. And Alexander uh, went to the Fame School uh, in New York before he came to Berkeley. And uh, Alexander, can you tell us something about your song? Yeah, sure. Uh, so this is a song I wrote. It's called In Too Deep. I'm actually singing on it and playing guitar. Um, and I actually wrote this about two years ago and I didn't finish it until a few weeks ago. I was stuck on the bridge for a long time. Uh, and I just, I'm really proud of it. And it um, is really exciting for me because it's probably one of the most percussive songs I've ever written as far as the guitar playing is concerned. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Brilliant. So here's Alexander performing his original composition, In Too Deep. <laughs> Amazing. That was great. That's a great song, man. Um, brilliant. Well executed as well. Um, moving right along. Our next student performer is uh, Henrik Uye Rose, and he's a four semester performance and MP&E dual major from Frederikstad, uh, Norway. 
Uh, last semester, he studied uh, with uh, Professor Lyle Brewer. Uh, Henry, can you tell us something about uh, your song? Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, so I took the lab solo arranging for guitar with Lyle Brewer last semester, and the final project was left completely open. So this is what I came up with. Ah, ah good job. Good job. Um, so here's Henrik uh, performing Stevie Wonders Lately. Just beautiful, just beautiful, so emotional, brilliant. Thank you. Um, okay, so our last performer of the evening is Jason G. And Jason's a seventh semester fingerstyle guitarist from Australia, and he's studying professional music at Berkeley, and he's a classically trained guitarist who eventually started studying fingerstyle, who I've had the pleasure of having for a student for several uh, classes and lessons. So Jason, can you tell us uh, something about your song? 
Yeah, um, The Hunt, composed by Tommy Emmanuel, my, uh, you know, the legend himself. And also uh, Bobby, the legend himself over here as well. <laughs> Take his classes, guys. Seriously, change your life. But yeah, here's, here's uh, The Hunt. Thank you. Here's Jason G. performing The Hunt by Tommy Emmanuel. Amazing. What a great ending to our show. Um, that's amazing. Uh, well executed. Um, so on behalf of Berta and I and the Berkeley Guitar Department, we would like to thank you to, for coming to this very historical. I, I hope you uh, appreciate the, the how important this this for uh, I choke up how, how important this first finger style and classical uh, show at Berkeley is. I mean, it's never happened and they've been trying for decades. So this you were, you've been part of history here. We are so proud of our students, uh, Bobby, and we ask you to support them, follow them in their social media and accompany their growth. Please do. And please try again and uh, come back next year and do this again because it will happen again. Uh, is, I'm not sure if Kim is still here. Ian, do you know? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I am still here and thank you all for being here. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Berta. <laughs> I did wanna also say thank you to Guy Van Duzer, David Newsom, Lyle Brewer, Freddie Bryant, Abigail yeah, Aronson Zosher, and um, so many and of you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so many of our wonderful faculty, all of them that we represent. Thank you all. What an incredible show. Thank you. Thank you.